Hey, it's Ellie from Magic Beans. Welcome to my very first unboxing video. So what's gonna be in this video, I'm gonna unbox a 2017 Bugaboo Chameleon. We just got it in. I will do a full review of the stroller. Do not worry, you can ask your questions. You can ask your questions on the comments below even now if you wanted to, but in this video, we're going to open up the box, see what we're gonna get. I chose an orange tailored fabric set to put it on. We'll see how that looks. I think it looks iconic and pretty for Bugaboo, so it's great. I'm glad that we're starting with Bugaboo. Chameleon, one of my favorite strollers, so let's start unboxing it now. Okay, they don't always recommend using one of these things to a box cutter or or what have you to open up the, the, um, the box, but I just did, so be careful not to scratch it. There is a protective piece of um, cardboard to protect the chameleon. Oh, and let's see what we have in here. Okay, cool. We have the box open and we have two wheels. Oh, these look really nice. I wonder if they upgraded these for 2017, but it's beautiful black wheels. Nice, and we have our undercarriage basket. We will undo the plastic, open that up. Undercarriage basket. What else do we got in here? We have the canopy rods. Put that orange canopy on there, it'll be really nice. And then we have infant seat carrier unit. International company Bugaboo. Um, I think that's just the seat, seat fabric. So when you get a chameleon, you're gonna get two types of fabric. You're gonna get this seat fabric, which is gonna be for like the toddler. You'll use it maybe after two, three months after the bassinet phase. And in here somewhere, there should be a bassinet fabric as well. I haven't found it yet. So I have the 2017 chameleon, and the thing that makes this sort of different from the previous versions is this. Here is the actual frame. Dudes, this is so light. The frame itself, actually without the wheels on it, feels like it's less than 10 pounds. It's very light. But you see here, it used to have this kind of foam um, handlebar, which could get nicked and got, people had to have them replaced, etc. But for 2017, they have this vegan leather. It feels like leather, super luxurious, super nice, beautiful stitching on the inside beautiful stitching on the inside, but it is all vegan leather. So that is gonna be very comfortable to push and it's not gonna damage um, at all. So that is very cool. And not only do they have the vegan leather on the handlebar, but also on the belly bar, that adjustable belly bar, neat. And what else do we got in here? Okay, this is the frame. So you're gonna get one frame in your box and this frame is gonna be both the bassinet fabric and for the seat fabric, as we'll show you as we start putting this thing together. I am making such a mess in my first unboxing video, I apologize. If you have any questions about this stroller, you're, leave that comment below, like this video and email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com about your chameleons. Such a good stroller. Okay, wait. And finally, we have Your bassinet fabric. Like I said, when you first get the stroller, you're gonna set it up with your bassinet and then you're gonna put on the seat. So you're gonna get both a bassinet and a seat um, with the purchase of your chameleon. And a couple more things in here. Oh, you have your, um, lots of warnings. Warnings. Oh, they just don't want you to have the plastic bag. And they have that in multiple languages. And here is your front wheel, one front wheel to the chameleon. Super beautiful quality. Now you remember that Bugaboo has their own factories and they really, and one of the reasons why they're so expensive is that they literally mold and cast and rivet every part of their, of their product. So this is a continuous improvement for 2017. That's why they're able to make these upgrades because really they really own the entire process. It's pretty phenomenal and fairly unique. Um, while I have this wheel here, remember a chameleon has adjustable suspension. 
So you can adjust the suspension as the baby gets older. So that's neat there. And there is your second wheel. All right, all of my pieces are in a big mix. Next, we're gonna just put this whole thing together and I'll show you how to assemble this thing. Okie dokie, does your living room look like this right now? Did you find this video on YouTube because you have pieces of chameleon all over your house and you just need to know how to put it together? So together, I have assembled chameleons before. I haven't done it in a while. So this is just gonna be a total adventure for us trying to put this thing together. So first thing is we have your frame. It's right here and we're gonna pop on those wheels. So, um, you got the front wheel and you, there's these little holes and you just put it right in. A little bit of plastic. Click, easy. Do you hear the quality of that click? That sounds so good. You know, when you sell strollers as long as I do, it's the little things like the clicks. Oh, that sounds so cool and so satisfying. That's kind of strange, sorry. Anyway, um, here is the side wheel. Click. And the other rear wheel, rear wheel, 12 and a half inch uh, wheels. Um, these are not air filled tires. They are foam tires sort of covered in rubber. So they're never gonna deflate. Only on the Bugaboo Donkey do they have air filled tires. So um, you don't have, have to worry about these things deflating. Okay, now let's attach the basket. So we have your undercarriage basket. Um, this can be kind of confusing, but I will walk you through it. And you can see that there are these little slots to put in the basket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this underneath here. And I'm going to take unvelcro those little pieces and velcro this through so that that basket is attached. and then on the second side. Okay, now what we have here is how do we keep this basket from keep staying up? We have these snaps and you can just, they made a little guide right around that center area, which is pretty cool. And then what you're gonna do is, ah, you're going to put this over the that sort of center bar here. And there's a little loop that I'm sort of pulling those snaps through. And then I'm just gonna snap that closed. Snap, and I'm gonna do it again on the second side. You know, once you like, you can really appreciate how they think these things through to make it just easy and make sense to make putting these things together sort of easy. And then you snap, and now your basket is on. It is on, and I'm cinching it closed. Boom, now you can put all your stuff in it, little Bugaboo logo on the side. We are ready to go. So we have, this is just, you'll notice that there is this um, cardboard. This is just packing material. You can get rid of that. Okay. And let's take a look at this. All right, so you have this um, piece flopping out of the bassinet. And what that is, it gives it structure. So there is a, um, a piece of Velcro on the bottom here. So you just throw that in there and now that is standing up. Same thing on this side. We are Velcroed up. Okay. Nice, soft um, bassinet material down here. Remember, Bugaboo has a sleep safe bassinet. So um, if you got the um, Bugaboo stand to go with it, you can have your baby sleep in this overnight. That's sort of new for last year, which is nice. People really wanted this. And okay. So at this point, we're going to attach the bassinet to the frame. Now it's sometimes confusing for people as to which way things go. So um, here's a little tip for that. Um, you'll see that this side is straight and this side is more rounded. 
Also, there are zippers on the straight side and there are no zippers on the top side. So the top is gonna to be that sort of leather, well, it's not leathery feeling, that sort of vinyl feeling on the top and the foam feeling is gonna be on the bottom. And then what you do is you start Velcroing all around and also these Velcro stops go in the corner. So you'll know that if you're doing the second Velcro pieces and they're in the corner, you're doing it the right way. And you just Velcro absolutely all around. And just by the way, when you put on your stroller seat, um, it's gonna be kind of similar, sort of figuring out which one is the top and which one is the bottom, just to make sure that it's um, totally correct. As I'm Velcroing, Please remember, ask me questions. That one, that's what I'm here for. You know, I've had over 12 strollers. Actually, I had over 12 strollers for my first daughter before she was one years old. And then over the course of my three children, I've had over 25 strollers. So I probably have assembled a couple hundred strollers. So, you know, I know that for new parents, but I, that's I do remember that first stroller that I did, the first, the one of the 25. It was a Graco Metro Light and French Bear. And I remember having all those pieces all over my living room and being that sense of accomplishment of like being this like newish dad, well, a soon to be dad and sort of rolling that stroller around uh, my apartment at the time. And that stroller didn't work out so well. Anyway, here is the, uh, here is the um, bassinet um, partially assembled. Um, the next pieces we need to do is, well, first of all, we can add the handlebar if we want to. And now that's on here. All right, so we have the bassinet partially assembled, but doesn't look like a bassinet yet. So now comes the second box. This is called a tailored fabric set. Oh, let's unbox the tailored fabric set. That's so exciting. Okay, it's an orange. And you can see that it's orange. There's a little like icon. So if you're in a store, even Magic Beans, you can tell by the little icon, the little fabric that they swatch on the side. And we'll open this up and we have, oh, beautiful orange, two pieces. Um, this is an apron that goes on top of the bassinet. And this, the second piece in here, is your actual canopy. It's right here, that actual canopy. Um, it's an extendable canopy. Um, so let's first thing is let's zip on this apron. Okay, we're gonna zip on this apron, make sure those two pieces at the end are really close to each other. And we're gonna just put that in like a normal zipper and then it's just gonna zip all the way around. Perfect. Zipping zip, zip, zip. So nice. Okay. Now, you have these two pieces here, which are going to be part of the canopy. Okay, you're going to find these little sort of like bungee-ish cords, and near them there will be a sort of a channel to put these plastic things through. And... All right, there's another channel to put the other. Now that we have the canopy rods back on, we are going to put on the, um, these little uh, brackets to get this canopy onto the actual um, bassinet. So you're going to put, slide these through. And then there are these little bungee cords that go around these plastic pieces. Great. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Voila, we have a canopy. Now let's put the canopy onto the stroller. And um, you'll see that they're like this, this, like I said, this rubbery-ish piece. And then all you have to do is
All right, so we now have the canopy on the stroller. Now, just, to, just so you know, you want to make sure that the, there's a little Bugaboo logo, there's a little picture of Chameleon on the upright. So you, now you'll make sure that you have this, these things on um, the right side. So you may, if you put the, um, it's possible that you'll put these attachment pieces on backwards. Um, you definitely, definitely want to make sure that you see that little icon that's inside there to make sure that's the front, because you'll, you'll see that the canopy is nice and taut. Um, remember, it's an extendable canopy. I'm just going to take off this little um, instruction, or actually this is more like a warning, so we'll put those away. And you will take, you can unzip it, and you have now extra sun protection if you want to have the extra sun protection, which is nice with an extended canopy. Now you can make that close. Let's put the bassinet right onto the stroller. <laughs> I'm going to do a full review of the stroller. The link to that video is in the comments below or in the description below. Just link right across that. Um, remember to, um, to check us out at mbeans.com. We write a full write-up about this as well on our blog. And, um, and please, please, please comment. We love comments. Our community on YouTube is really growing. And I love um, answering your comments. If you leave a comment, I will answer it, I promise. Um, or you can just email me directly at questions at mbeans.com. Don't forget to um, like this video likes make a big deal and of course if you want to see maybe I'm going to do more unboxing videos I probably will so remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, you'll be alerted for um, doing unboxing videos or comparisons um, we've been getting lots of um, requests for more product comparisons send them my way leave it in the comment below email me to questions at mbeans.com again we're ellie from magic beans and beans.com we ship all over the country um, and we would just love to help you figure out which um, stroller or car seat or piece of baby gear is right for your lifestyle thank you so much so much for watching